Kelly and I are presenting the 3% potassium hydroxide test, or the KOH test, which is a, an alternative test for determining the Gram reaction. Determining the Gram reaction is typically the first step in identifying unknown bacteria. It's also very important for doctors to know the Gram reaction in prescribing the antibiotic that will work most effectively. The problem is that not all bacteria stain reliably using the gram stain. For example, some gram-negative bacteria will resist the decolorization step of the gram stain. And the mycobacterium have a uh, waxy mycolic acid coating, which is impermeable to the stain. And uh, generally, uh, gram-positive bacillus species tend to be gram-variable. So in cases like this, an alternative uh, test for determining the gram reaction is necessary, and the KOH test is one of those tests. The distinguishing factor between gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria is in their cell wall compositions. And the KOH test, like the gram stain, is based on these cell wall differences. You can see from this diagram that the gram-negative bacteria on the left has a thin inner layer of peptidoglycan surrounded by lipopolysaccharide and protein, whereas the gram-positive bacteria on the right has a single thick outer layer of peptidoglycan. The KOH test works by lysing the cell wall of gram-negative bacteria, which results in the spilling out of the contents of the cell. In the second photo, you can see the nucleic acids that have spilled out as a result of cell lysis. The KOH reagent reacts with the nucleic acids to produce a cloudy, mucousy, stringy consistency, which can be observed. On the other hand, the cell walls of gram-positive bacteria do not lyse and won't produce this reaction. The advantages of the KOH test are that it only takes a couple of minutes to do. Uh, you don't need a microscope, and it's not near as messy as the gram stain. Uh, the KOH test is reasonably accurate, but you want to make sure that your reagent is fresh. So check the expiration date on the bottle and make sure that it's been stored properly. And uh, any bottle that has any white precipitate needs to be discarded. So um, it's always a good idea to use a positive and a negative control, too, to make sure that your reagent is good. And Kelly and I just tested it. We just mixed it up, and reagent is working fine. this test, you'll need a clean microscope slide, a sterile toothpick, um, your specimen, and the KOH 3% that we just mixed up. What you'll do is take a small drop of the 3% KOH onto the slide. Then you want to add a copulous amount of specimen. You want to make sure you have plenty to get a good reaction because this is a visual test. Then you add your specimen to the KOH and you begin mixing in a small circular motion. The gram negative organism normally takes about 15 seconds to start reacting but you will continue to stir up to 60 seconds, periodically lifting your toothpick or inoculating loop if you choose. Checking for the changing in the consistency to uh, a mucousy consistency and thickening. And you start looking for stringing to occur. This is also uh, called the string test. You can see where it's starting to thicken. You can see in there, you can see where it's beginning to string with my toothpick. And that indicates that it is a gram-negative organism. And it's, it's starting to string very, very well now, so. There, I think you can see that. So, we have confirmed with the KOH test that we have gram-negative organism here from the string that you see. Uh, in a gram-positive organism, this would not have changed the consistency. It would still be clear. So anyway, we have concluded our test. At this point, you would uh, record your results and be sure to uh, clean your work area and decontaminate your work area. Dispose of everything in the proper, proper uh, containers. And uh, thank you very much for your time.